YouTube, what's up? It's Debbie. I'm back with another gameplay. This is a weekend league game. I'm going to show you guys. And before I start, I want to make sure we get enough likes for me to drop the next gameplay that I already recorded. So when this one hits 200 likes, I'm going to go ahead and drop the next one. You guys have been really loving them, and I appreciate all the feedback. Below in the comments, I want you to let me know what else you would like to see me from me on YouTube. What else y'all need help with in Madden so I can go ahead and keep building this channel that y'all are helping grow exponentially right now. But like I said, if you like any offense and defense you see in these videos, I'm in the Saints offense and the Detroit defense. Both ebooks are below on Madden Turf. The link is below. If you ever want to watch me play these games live, the link to the Twitch is below, which I live stream on. You can check that out too. So this was a weekend league game. I want to say this is my 11th game. I was undefeated going into this game. So I'm trying to, you know, keep that going. Obviously, I'm playing this guy Merc Wild. I never played this guy Merc Wildcat. Four minute quarters, anything can happen. You're getting the ball first, so obviously when you want to get the ball first, you want to go up seven nothing. That going up seven nothing to me is better than having ball at half. So hopefully I can go ahead and go up seven nothing. I don't know what this guy's gonna do. Obviously, you guys know as weekend league, if you keep winning and winning, your opponent gets better and better. They do a great job of matchmaking, so you're not playing all bums all night. And what well, Tyreek Hill takes a little lick right there. He's small, but he can take a lick. First play, you don't really get that much play clock. Set up a lot of audibles. Run a draw real quick. I see he's running a little bit of loop. Here he bluffs the pressure, and I block, and that dude just ate against Trent Williams. Bruce Smith, legend right there. Here he runs in a little loop. I have a bad pocket presence right there. It looked like he was going to loop on me. I slid to the right a little bit, and bang, I got the contain got me. Got to stay strong in the pocket against these contained blitzes. First drive, I'm not mad at punting because, you know, I don't want to give him a field goal. I'm not in the business of donating points. But he had a good punt return there. Runs a draw, first place, so he's pretty much in field goal range already. So I kind of failed at, you know, from putting him out of, holding him from a field goal range. But he's in field goal range now, and here he goes. He's going to go ahead and go to the trips right here. No huddles, actually gets screamed that hit, and we get the interception with Jalen Ramsey, who doesn't want to get up. He's cool with taking the ball to the 40-yard line. So we could be punting the first drive, and he actually came down there and do a pick on, what, his third play from scrimmage. So we'll take that every day of the week. We're right back where we started. Man's a possession game. You go Le'Veon Bell getting spin cycled. Man's a possession game. We're right back. We both had one, but no points, so I feel good. Here we go, and he was running a little loop. Here we go. I tried to go up top, and we do the Tyreek Hill. That's the 94 speed Tyreek Hill. We go ahead and get one. He manned up the safety there, looked like Earl Thomas. We're able to hit him for a big play. He was getting cute with his coverage, I man. You can't allow people to get too cute with their coverage. Here we go, throw it underneath the girly. He gets boxed there on the hard flat. Do a drag, do a hard flat. That's going to come in play later in the game. Here I go, try to hit the seam. He ran cover two there. I should have, hmm, he jumped the seam. I should have realized that and do one of my slants for the first down. But I got a little greedy, saw a seam with no deep blue and cover two. I wanted my touchdown. So here we go. That's my possession, 3 nothing. It's pretty much like I took the first drive down the field. So it's 3 nothing. Hopefully I can get a stop. I see he, first drive he's been running tight flex. A tight flex does not succeed on my field. If you want to see how I box tight flex, and actually this play, if you see in my camera, my controller was dead. That was, all the, that was the biggest play that he got out of tight flex this game with my controller dead. But we'll come back to that wheel route again. You know, you got to remember what your opponent does and know how to stop it. So we'll come back to that wheel route. Once again, he's running draw. J.J. Watt, I need you to fight a little bit for me. You're getting one-on-one -on -one blocked right now. Here he goes. He gets a third and one. I go to a little man coverage. Expect the inside zone to draw. Audible's down. I obviously expect the run, but it's not worth a run commit this early in the game. He pops it outside. The mark is where... Ugh. Tried to grab him. He did a nice job just being fast. Ezekiel Elliott hit me with a spin move, and DeMarcus Ware couldn't grab him. Here he goes running again. That time, Jadavion Clowney hits him. So we're slowing it down a little more than we were in the, in the first half. Here he goes, throws a drag underneath. Patrick Pierce, I missed the tackle there. Got to do better there. Get him in at the 10. Call a timeout, try to preserve some time for me on offense. That's pretty much what it is. And here we go with the tight flex. Tight flex does not succeed on my field. If you're having a problem with tight flex, Go ahead in the link below and check out Manserv. I'll show you guys how to box it. What he does good here is he audibles out. So I have a defense set up for tight flex, and I have to reset it all up for this four wide. He snaps the ball, and I give up a streak right here to Gronkowski, the high ball. Good job. It's tough when people audible from, from tight formations and then spread you out real quick. Pause. But uh, And that's what he did, and he made me change all my zones up. The way I play tight is I don't base in line. I put everybody right up, at, right up at the line of scrimmage against the wide receivers to make it tougher on the quarterback playing offense. But he got a touchdown there, so that's big. I mean, we're going to be in a tight game. I can tell this guy got an idea how to play. He almost lurks me right there. But T.Y. Hilton with the 92 speed, I was able to hit him on a slant. I said, and here we go. This time, same loop. This time I have great pockets, step up, able to hit Randy Moss on the fade over Sherman. And Sherman's a great player, but he's not going to keep up with Randy Moss, especially in the deep third from the slot. 
able to sneak a touchdown in there. So got to make them pay for that cover three press. Here he goes. And then when we give up a nice little return here, even big plays like that with one minute left, man, 10 extra yards is a big deal. First play out the down, he comes out in a little stretch, but we can box that. We got Miles Jack. That's, that's just the power of Miles Jack. Not the new team of the week, Miles Jack, which I might look into getting, but I don't use linebackers that much. But we got to stop him here. Stop the draw. Telvin Smith, he gets to a fourth down, and I tell you guys, this is how I play tight flex, man. If I'm going to play tight flex, fourth down right here, I have no timeouts. He has three. I'm going to risk it for the biscuit. If it was fourth and one, maybe I'd play safer. But he comes out in tight flex, and like I said, I put everybody in the box, and I blitz the crib. I want to hard flat the right side so he can't dump it off to the right side. He's going to have to wait for a corner route. I got the whole left side myself. This is pretty much how I defend tight flex. If you want to know the exact setup, the link is in the description. And boom! Right off the edge, Ronnie Lott gets a sack right there, stops him. But the first play, we throw to Gurley. We do put our running back at tight end. I mean, that's not a, that wasn't the running back's fault. It was a bad read. It was a hard flat. He could have called it. Could have got a better drop animation, honestly. But, I mean, that's just, I can't blame Gurley. I can't blame running back at tight end. It's just a bad read by me, and I, I got to do better. Once again, that time, the, the loop looked like it was going to scare me, looked like it was going to get me, so I do the ball a little early. This time around, four verse, nobody was really open. That was kind of a throwaway right there. Got to try to get some points. And for some reason, he runs spinner. I, it's 20 seconds left. I have no timeouts, and this guy runs spinner. Should have been an easier catch than it was for Moss. But then we're going to get me down here to the six-yard line. I know how to back out, go to special teams, get my field goal. Absolutely terrible defensive call by him to go ahead and go spinner. When I had no timeouts in 20 seconds, I was on my own 25. He winds up giving up three points. That's Moss twice beat him on a fade from the slot. That's why I tell you, man, I always like to put my best wide receiver in the slot. Here we go. He gets the ball. That pick six is really killing me. I can't believe I do that, but I feel good. I feel like if I stop the draw, tight flex will not succeed on my field. It won't. I'm, I'm going to blitz everybody and make him go ahead and make a decision fast. If he plays a perfect game, he's going to win, but nine times out of ten, your opponent will make a mistake, and you have to make them pay when they make that mistake. So that's what I want to do. If I stop the draw, there we go. There we go. DeMarcus Ware, comment, slow it down a little bit, and we'll be all right. That's all I want to do. Slow it down. Bang, there it is. I told you. He's going to make a mistake, set him up. He's going to try to win that real route like he did earlier in the game, and we set him up right there with Jalen Ramsey. Put him in a soft squad on the sideline there. Instead of the deep blue, he sees the loop or the crossfire, thinks it's cover three, thinks he gets an easy wheel route, and Jalen Ramsey jumps it, picks it for six, changes the ties again. Once again, we're going to bring the crib. You're not going to run PA post shot on me. I'm going to cover the drag. It's going to, and then we, we are on the run. Stop the run. It's over. He's not going to pass out a tight flex. He goes to the bunch here. His route combinations are horrendous. He throws it up to Moss, and Jalen Ramsey knocks it out of his hands. I don't know what his idea was there. Goes for it on a fourth down, runs a bunch again. And it's just, again, he goes, I guess he went for a cover three beater there, and I cut, and it wasn't cover two. You know, so we stop him again. I said, you're not going to pass out of tight flex. He goes to the bunch, doesn't look comfortable in it at all. Right here, I'm up six. A field goal gives me the lead, or gives me a two score lead. Dump it underneath the Tyreek Hill. Got to convert this first down, and I throw a high ball to Moss. He didn't have anybody on him. He manned up the safety on the outside guy. Vic overdoses. this. People tell me Vic sucks. Vic messes up. I know this. I have talks with Vic. I say, Vic, I forgive you because you make so many plays. I can very forgive you for messing up every once in a while. We get a two score lead. Obviously, when he's gone to this, I, you'll see here, he killing me with Zeke Hill, but when he's gone to the trips tight end, that's been his quick snap play, that level sales play. So, once he goes to that, I want to start going cover three, and then we go, we should have got a pick right there. I don't know what Dawkins was doing. Got to grab that. So, you see when he goes to the trips tight end, I'm going to start going cover three hard flats. He has really nowhere to throw the ball because all he wants to look for is that running back table route, and, you know, once that's not there, he's boxed. Here you go. What I did here, I played cloth last, but I played played the sticks right there. So he stayed at 10 yards. And if he would have dropped back a little bit more, that would have been a tougher throw. But he's able to fit that corner route. And once again, level sales, we hard flat it. The corner route is not a problem this year because it goes too far into the deep blue. So cover through hard flat does a good good job against those that beef or that offense. Here he goes. Hits a little delay route. Huh, Zico is kind of killing me a little bit. That delay route came out of nowhere. But we got him inside the 10. All we got to do is hold our water here. So we don't give up anything big. And J.J. Watt just kills Michael Vick. I might need a fumble on that one. But we get to the fourth quarter. He has not scored a touchdown. I like where we're at. We sack him again. This is pretty much just all time off the clock right now. The time is my friend because I'm up two scores. He runs P.A. post shot inside the 10. I send the spy. I probably should have just kept the spy and let him stand. He wasn't going to get anything. Runs out with Vick. He actually gets out of bounds, which saves him 20 seconds on the play clock. But it's cool, man. We're up, two, we're up what, six points. We need one drive. 
And the one thing I do this drive that, I mean, I think is such a good tool to have in Madden. I've been running that wide trips in the inbook the whole game, but not as money drive. There's one drive where I need a couple first downs. I'm going to come on and tight offset. So he hasn't been defending this all game. He's been defending wide trips. So you mix in just tight offset for a couple plays here. And you can see he runs spinner. He, and some people just really don't know how to defend tight offset. There's some great players that know how to play good defense against it, but other people are just clueless when you call this offense. So it's nice to have another formation you can go back to when you need a money drive that they haven't been comfortable defending all game. That's a weapon that I really haven't had in the past that much, but I'm really incorporating a lot this year in my New Orleans book. Like I said, I ran the wide trips all game. I mixed up my plays, but I needed a couple first downs. I went to this wide trips, and, and this guy is just one of those baseline stuck in the program defensive players. And here he goes. I get a second and seven. Looks like he's running a little crossfire, DB fire, crossfire because of the linebacker stepped in. So I want to hit a fade over here to type T.Y. Hilton. I know it's free safety. He has to go to the middle of the field. I'm going to have this one-on-one -on -one over here. Go for the fade. And it goes through T.Y. Hilton's hands. Just drew up the perfect play there, and it just didn't work out. But here we go. Underneath, Gurley caught it like an idiot. That could have been a first down. But here we go. Got one play, fourth and three. Of course, I'm not punting this far away. Hopefully, we don't. But the one thing about this play, I, I hate he didn't move his corners in on this play. So it made it obvious he wasn't blitzing. So it made me a thousand times more comfortable in the game to end the game. And that's what we do here. We're just going to run the clock out. I think I turned the ball over by accident here because the game's so over. But like I said, in that last play, he didn't move his corners up. So I knew he wasn't blitzing. So I was comfortable in the pocket. Here you see me being an idiot and turning the ball over just for fun. But if you're going to run blitzes and you're going to run covers, you have to make them look exactly the same. And what he did on that fourth down was not move. He's been moving his corners all game up against the, the D -tack, D -D ends. And that last play on fourth down, he didn't do that. So it made it obvious that he wasn't blitzing. And that's something I hate. When, I, when people do that, it's just, it frustrates me because you got you to gotta at least have the threat of a blitz. Make me uncomfortable in the pocket. Make me feel like something bad is going to happen. And he didn't have that. And that that's, so you see right here, even though it's fast forward, he moves his corners to the inside and gets way more pressure. So that's just something I wish, you know, people would be better at, you know, disguising your coverage, man. If you're going to blitz, and then blitz. But if you're going to play coverage, play coverage. But you got to make them look the same. So as an offensive player, I'm worried about both before the snap. If I'm just worried about one, it makes it a lot easier for me. So that's how that game went. Obviously, you learn how to defend tight flex. If that's giving you trouble, <laughs> hit the link below. If you like anything you see on the offense, hit the link below. Like I said, when this gets to 200 likes, I'm going to drop the next gameplay. I really appreciate all the love y'all been giving me on these gameplays. I'm going to keep dropping them keep trying to help you guys get better man that's pretty much my goal with the youtube i appreciate all the love y'all been giving me